What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to highlight your muzzles using Final Cut Pro 10. And from the tutorials I've been seeing online, usually they get a screenshot from Final Cut Pro 10, move it to Photoshop and do all the necessary stuff over there. But I feel like it's kind of long process and also if you don't have the money to pay for the monthly subscription that comes with Photoshop. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the fast and easy way to use Final Cut Pro 10 to highlight your muzzles without any Photoshop. I let's go. So you already have your video on your timeline. You select the part that you want to highlight. I think somewhere here will be okay. We we'll click on that. Click on the video, shift H to freeze frame where you want to highlight the muzzle. So you already have it somewhere here. Then you can click here to shorten it or to make it long, depending on how you want it. With this, I think somewhere here will be okay. Then make a duplicate of that video, press Alt and drag upwards. Click on the top video, command R to bring the real time editor out so we know exactly where we freeze the frame. Then click on this side, drag to the starting point of the freeze frame. Do the same on the ending side. Click on the down video, press V to disable the down video. And then we'll click on the top video and start working on it. You go to your video inspector side. Over there, we choose curves. And this step is really important. With the preserve luma, make sure you untake that. You understand very soon. Then go to blue with the curve you drag this one downwards you go to green we drag it downwards too and then we have only the red usually they use the red color to highlight the muzzles now let me click on the preserve luma and you see what happens it doesn't really give the red color it doesn't really pop so when you untake that then it gives you the real red color that you want then go back to the video inspector side under normal we choose soft light then go to your effect section side over there we search for mask then you choose draw marks, drag and drop on your video. So now I'll make the screen big so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now we start drawing around the muzzle that we want to highlight. And with the draw marks, when you click and hold, it gives you the smooth curves that you want. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just be fast with this. But when you're doing it, just take your time to really get it close to perfect. Now let's make this small and see exactly how it looks like. Click on the down video, press V to enable the video and then we'll see exactly how it looks like. Let's go back to the top video and work around the mask. It doesn't really look clean. But yeah, still I will not really take my time with this. But when you're doing this, just take your time to really get it close to perfect or how you want it. Then we'll click on the pen tool to remove the point so we can see exactly how it looks like. Then you go to your feather side, you drop it downwards. With this, it will help you eliminate the sharp edges so you can get it in a smooth way. We'll go back to the point and work on it. So you just drop it downwards, somewhere 45 will be okay. Go back to your point and then you can make your point big. Now we can click on the pen tool to remove the point and work around the feather. Now let me make it normal size so we know exactly how it looks like. So there you go guys, very simple and easy to achieve this effect using just Final Cut Pro 10. And if you really learned something from this, please and please and please don't forget to subscribe down there and also like this video. Also drop a comment down below what you would like to see next on this channel. As always, my name is Joey. Love you guys. Peace out.